As iron workers were busy at a construction site at a local hospital, one of them found himself looking into a third floor hospital window. His eyes were met by those of an elderly woman who was watching his every move. Soon, she came to the window with a sign that bore a message for him. He was immediately crushed as he read it. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Gloria Porter was trying to pass her time at a Westmoreland County Hospital when the 88-year-old Connellsville woman found herself in an unexpected exchange with an iron worker outside. Gloria had been hospitalized for a week at Excella Frick Hospital in Mount Pleasant, Pennsylvania, and it just so happened that Union iron workers from Century Steel Erector were constructing the new front entrance to the hospital at the same time. The job was part of a $14 million renovation project at the hospital. According to WTAE, and it gave Gloria something to do as she tried to get better. From her third floor hospital room, she watched the workers, but it wasn't always a pleasant form of entertainment. In fact, one chilly, windy Wednesday afternoon during her hospitalization, Gloria found herself increasingly nervous as she watched the workers outside. As Gloria was peering out her hospital window, she noticed one of the men was looking back at her. Iron worker Jeff Reek had just looked in the woman's hospital window, locking eyes with her as she watched the workers every move. Knowing he was spotted, Jeff waved at the woman who had been watching him. This one guy looked over at us and waved, so we waved back, Gloria recalled but their exchange was far from over. To Gloria's shock, Jeff then used a piece of chalk to scrawl a two-word message on one of the steel beams for the woman. I looked down on the beam and he had written, get well, Gloria said, revealing Jeff's message to her. The message touched her deeply, but Jeff didn't think much of the small gesture at the time. I saw the lady at the window looking out. I thought it would be a kind gesture just to tell her to get well, the iron worker said. I didn't think much of it, I just tried to make someone feel a little better. It worked. Gloria thought the message was precious, but she was still concerned about the safety of the men working outside. That's when she decided to send her own message. Working with some of the Excella hospital staff, the elderly woman got a piece of paper, a marker, and tape. Then she returned to the window with her homemade sign. Workers from Excella and Century Steel were so touched by what she had written, they took photos of the signs and put them on Facebook. The exchange quickly went viral as the posts were shared by hundreds of people. Gloria's sign simply read, stay safe. But those two words held a lot of meaning for Jeff and his crew. That sign kind of crushed me. I don't know how she knew stay safe, he said. It's kind of like iron worker lingo to stay safe. When I saw stay safe in the window, I kind of snapped my head around and said to my coworkers, did you see that? But the story gets even better as one random act of kindness led to another. The simple, friendly exchange between Gloria, who was later discharged from the hospital, and Jeff inspired others as it went viral. An unnamed woman saw one of the posts and went to the work site to drop off an envelope for the iron workers. It contained money so the men could buy lunch. I just try to lead by example and be a good person. I just hope everybody would do things like that because the world is not a very nice place, Jeff Reek said of his good deed. But with people like Jeff and Gloria among us, the world is a better place. They remind us that it's the smallest acts that can make the biggest impact in ways we never imagined. Jeff only aimed to bring a smile to one woman's face that day, but the two of them touched hearts everywhere, and all it took was a couple of nice words and a friendly exchange to change our outlook on the world for a brief moment.